Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, gunmen broke into one of the parishes presided over by the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Sokoto, Matthew Hassan Kuka, early this morning. The armed bandits kidnapped two priests and two other persons in the rectory of St. Patrick's Catholic Church, Gidan Maikambo, in the Kafru local government area of Katsina State. The Director of Social Communications of the Catholic Diocese of Sokoto, Reverend Father Christopher Omotosho, broke the news on Wednesday morning. He said the Catholic Diocese of Sokoto is under attack and no information has been gotten concerning the whereabouts of the kidnapped victims. At number two, President Muhammad Buhari had a closed-door meeting with state governors and some members of the National Assembly elected on the platform of the All Progressives Congress inside the presidential villa Abuja on Tuesday. None of the attendees disclosed what was discussed at the meeting to newsmen. However, a source at the APC Secretariat told the punch that the meeting bothered around the coming primaries and the need for consensus. At number three, the Independent National Electoral Commission says it will partner with the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission to prosecute candidates of political parties who submit forged academic credentials. The chairman of INEC, Mahmoud Yakubu, said this at a meeting on the collaboration for effective tax compliance of political office holders convened at the instance of the Joint Tax Board on Tuesday. Yakubu said beyond the nullification of elections of candidates that submitted fake or forged credentials, he believed that such individuals should be prosecuted. At number four, operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission finally arrested former Imo State Governor Senator Rochas Okorocha after a six-hour siege at his Abuja residence on Tuesday. Okorocha was arrested at about 6.30 p.m. at his residence in the Maitama area of Abuja. In the early hours of Tuesday, EFCC operatives besieged the lawmaker's house, stopping occupants from leaving. Okorocha had raised the alarm that the EFCC was stopping him from partaking in the presidential screening and that stakeholders in the country should come to his aid. Dozens of protesters had stormed Okorocha's home to protest the security siege of the former governor's house. The EFCC, in a statement by its spokesperson, Wilson Uwujarin, stated that the siege was to arrest Mr. Okorocha because he had jumped an administrative bail and resisted being served court papers for his corruption trial. Lastly, at number five, Senator Dino Melaye has lost the Kogi West senatorial ticket of the People's Democratic Party. The serving House of Representative member representing Kababunu, Ijumu Federal Constituency, Tajuddin Yusuf, defeated Melaye in the rerun election on Tuesday. The senatorial election held on Monday ended in deadlock as both aspirants scored 88 votes respectively. However, during the runoff election on Tuesday, Yusuf emerged winner, scoring 163 votes, while Melaye scored 99 votes. Speaking after the results came out, Melaye blamed his loss on a major gang up at the primary election. That's all for now. Please do well to get your permanent voters card as the 2023 general elections is almost here. See you next time on What's Happening.